Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good early morning, everyone. Been up since about maybe 530. I'm not really um, remembering. But I just wanted to get up on here and let you all know that I'm getting ready to actually start Bible study again. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to start on Sunday Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I just, I got to get back up in it. Um, I love teaching, love reaching. I love preaching to the people of God because in this hour, let me tell you something. And I realized that too. The enemy, I, I, I've, I've said this twice before, maybe three or four times and I'll keep saying it. The enemy tools are deception and distraction. Now this is how he gets you. The deception is if you don't have spirit, spiritual wisdom and discernment concerning everyone and everything understand what i just said spiritual wisdom and discernment concerning everyone and everything then if you miss it guess what now you got to double double back point blank in the story because once you miss it that's a situation that's something that you got to deal with whether it's a person place or thing so in this season you want to ask god for high wisdom and high discernment let me tell you something don't get it twisted I know that God is favoring my life right now and a lot of things good are happening, but I'm praying even more so. I am praying even more so. I'm just being real with you. I am praying more so. God, keep keep me grounded. God, keep me rooted. Listening to my scriptures, getting in my word, spending time in the presence of God. When God blesses you, that's all the more reason. God, I got to stay in tune. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to veer to the left. Oh, come on, somebody. I just said something up in here. This is real. This is very real. So I want to get back into the Bible studies because we go in depth with them. Not to mention, you want to stay connected to God in this hour. I don't know why I'm going here this morning, but maybe that's what we need to hear. You want to stay connected to God in this hour. Don't ever get so um, overwhelmed with the things of the world that you forget God. And to be honest with you, that's exactly what's happening with the body of Christ and in the natural and in the spiritual. People are forgetting God. You know, you start getting blessed. You start working a lot. You start getting things. You start, you know, you, you have to maintain it. And that's fine because God wants you blessed. I, I had to really learn that. Come on, somebody. Listen to me this morning. God wants you blessed. But there must be a balance. What's the balance? Still get in the presence of God. Still get in the word of God. Still preach. Still teach. Whatever your thing is. Whatever you're mandated to do in this moment. In this time. In this hour. That's who you really are. Yeah, you'll have other assignments. But the mandate. That's the mandate. The mandate is what you truly are called for. And I know that's what I'm called for. To preach. To teach. And to reach. So I can't ever lose vision of that. There it is right there. So the enemy tries to distract you and deceive you because he knows those two work hand in hand. And it'll take you away from the things that God have called you to. Always remember this. The heart of God is souls. I'm not saying God don't want you blessed. I'm not saying God don't want you to build a legacy for your family. That's not what I'm saying. But the first thing, Matthew 6, 33, I told you guys I was going to say that all this year, and I've seen myself doing it. Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, not even ours because we're not right. No, most of the time we're not. And God will let you know. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So, I wanted to get up on here and let you know that tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I will be doing Bible study again. Um, I, I think I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to do it on here or YouTube, whatever God tells me to. But um, I'm definitely going to start doing I I just have to. Um, it's been in my spirit to start. And so um, praise God, praise God. And for you all that follow me as I follow Christ and for you all that are ministry partners and for you all that just so into the ministry, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart and I will not let you down. And the reason why I'm saying it like that is, and I have to, as God promotes, we have to understand that we have an obligation to stay grounded into God. Some people, fit, you know, you know, you know what happens. And, and that's what happened with Samson. Let me go ahead and preach a little. Samson, 
he had a great call on his life. I, I mean, that was my first sermon ever. So <laughs> it behooves me why I would start with that this morning. That was my first sermon ever, Samson and Delilah. And the reason why I actually dissected it and wanted to expound on that is because Samson was loved of God. He had instructions. Don't ever bring a razor to your head. Do not drink strong drink and stay away from women that are not of God. Guess what? To this day, that's our instructions. May not be the same ones as Samson's, but you have instructions. Stay the course. Don't go to the left. Don't do this. Don't do that. We have to stay rooted and grounded in that. And that's what Samson, S Samson saw Delilah. Oh, I'm going to say, what is your Delilah? I fill it up in here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. What is your Delilah? What is your Delilah? Because Delilah comes to steal, kill, and destroy a man or a woman. Delilah don't care. Because I, I dissected each scripture. S the, the scriptures say that Samson loved her. But not one time did she ever say she loved him back. As a matter of fact, he was in such a delusion of state because of the deception and the distraction. He didn't even know that God had left him. So the presence of God had withdrew from him. So therefore, he couldn't even understand because he didn't have wisdom and discernment. So once the presence of God withdraws from you, you lose all bearings. That's why people fall and backslide and do what they do. It's not that they really say, oh, I'm going to go and I'm, I'm going to do bad things and I'm not going to be a child of God. No, they got distracted or deceived. And then therefore, that spirit comes overtake them and then God has to withdraw his presence because two presence cannot, two spirits cannot dwell in your body. You either belong to God or the devil in the story. There is no purgatory. All little crazy stuff. The devil is alive. I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I'm always marveled because... Samson didn't even know. Not only did he, he, that the presence was withdrawn from him, but also his power. You see, the deception and the distraction is after the presence of God in your life and the power of God, the anointing. Mm -hmm. Two for two, that's that double trouble. So now you got to stay grounded because now you got to stay, you, you got to stay like a radar. And that's just what I am. Not trying to break, and I'm just like a radar. I feel something, that's, that's why y'all see me even when I'm on live because I'm, I had to take somebody to the store here, but um, let me tell you something. I'm always looking around. Not that I'm trying to be paranoid. Or, no, that's what the enemy does. The Bible says the enemy walks around seeking whom he may devour. So guess what? We got to walk around seeking what's up. <laughs> that's what we doing. <laughs> it's just true. It's true. You got to walk around in the same power, but the power of God, because guess what? He's after you. I'm going to say it again. He's after you. You have a real enemy. Yes, yes. So let's get back on Samson. Samson, Delilah even told him, why do you deceive me? All the time she was deceiving him. But my thing is, remember when they came and they bound him up the first time? He was in such a state of reprobate mind that he went back to Delilah. How many of you go back to that problem, back to that situation, back to that person? I just love them. It is called, I used to, okay, I, I want to use this term because that's what it reminds me of, a functioning attic. You know how you, you have an addiction, but, but you function with it? I used to do it too, so don't tell me I know what I'm talking about. And, and, and now people know something off, but, you know, they don't know like you know, but you know. <laughs> and that's what was happening. Samson knew Delilah wasn't, he knew it, but it was the thrill. Or was it the deception and distraction? Because that's what it really be. Let, 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 let me do it for you. Let me do it for you. Have you ever met someone and you just thought they were just like, oh my God. And then after you start looking with your spiritual eyesight, you start looking weird. Like, wait, 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 something off. That's what happens. But if you accept it so long, You'll take that off. You'll take that situation. You'll take that abuse because you accepted it. See, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those that love each the food thereof. But it's also free will. Whatever you allow, God must allow. That's why it is so important in every capacity. Test the spirit by the spirit. I don't care if it's family. I don't care if it's friends. I don't care if it's enemies. I don't care. 
I'm testing you. Because anyone can serve plant at any time. Let me tell you something, and this is so real. If they are not surrendered to the Holy Ghost, they're capable of anything. I'm 53, you can't tell me. If a person is not surrendered to the Holy Ghost, they're capable of anything. Because that conviction keeps you. Yeah, y'all know I'm going to see something in my peripheral vision. Yeah, I'm watching them. Because they just stand in there. So, um, anyway. So, what happens is that it restricts you. It restricts you and it restrains you. Those spirits. So, that, that I'm telling you. But the conviction, I will tell you, don't say that. Don't do that. Apologize. So you have to stay grounded. You have to stay rooted. You have to stay in God. A lot of people leave God when they get blessed. And then when they get what they get, they run back. And have the audacity to blame God. And God went, wait a minute, you didn't even confirm. You didn't even clarify that with me. I'm not saying I've gotten every decision right because I'd be lying. But when something comes to me, especially these days now, God, is this you? Because if it's not you, I don't want it. If it's not you, stop it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Laugh, mock, whatever. It has to be rooted and grounded in God. Everything you do, everything you say, everything you are. This has to be real. This is a lifestyle. This is a relationship. This is not just a Facebook thing or, 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 or a, a, a look at me thing. <laughs> It better not be. <laughs> it's hot out here. You better be real. Gonna be like the sons of Skeva. I'm gonna leave you with this. The sons of Skeva. They were rebuking and casting out demons in the name of Jesus because the power of the name of Jesus just by alone by itself. But they did not have authority. They did not have a relationship. They did not have a covenant. You see when them demons say, Paul, I know. And Jesus, I know, but we don't know you. We're about to beat you. That's exactly what happened. And that's exactly what is happening in today's society with followers of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you do not possess the power and the presence, they're looking at you like, you don't have authority. So now you got to go in your life and see what doors open. Or what people that are not supposed to be in your life. Like, and it could be very hurtful, but it's real. And it's des ne definitely necessary. That's why he says, examine yourselves. Lord, I, I, look, I was talking, I was supposed to be talking about Bible study. I didn't went all the way off, huh? <laughs> I all the way on. Because one thing about it, and that's what people don't understand, that's why we have to be led by the Holy Spirit. When you're led by the Holy Spirit, overtaken by the Holy Spirit, you'll start off with one situation and talking about one thing, but God knows who's all on this live. And so God is probably saying, wait a minute, I need you to go this way because this person is on this live. So for you that were all on this live this morning, I pray that you go back and play this because nothing just happens. That's one thing T.D. Jakes taught me years ago, years ago. I was in L.A. I don't remember. I think it was 15, 20 years ago. I don't even remember. But I will say this. Nothing just happens. That means that anytime that anything is said or done, listen very carefully. Because there's always a word where people say, well, God don't talk to us. God don't. He uses people. And I had to understand that too. God uses people. That's a whole nother um, teachings. But God uses people. So, all right, you guys. God bless you. God keep you. I love you. I truly do. And I'm not just saying that. But um, let's be wise in this hour. Let's use wisdom. Let's use discernment. Let's be mindful. Let's be loving. Let's be kind. Let's be respectful. Because one thing about it, the body of Christ, we've lost some things. Yes, we have. We allow the, the world to come in, and, and now we're a little rude to each other. Oh, I'm going I'm to talk it up in here. I don't know. Y'all know how I do it. We're angry. We, we're doing this. We're doing that. We're supposed to have the qualities of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If not, what are we doing? What, what is this about? Is it appearance? <laughs> is it a game? Is it a money game? I'm just saying. 
Okay, God bless you. God keep you. I pray that you all have a blessed day. I may get back up on here. But if not, know that I'm praying. And I'm serious. I'm praying for everybody. So y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.